don't know everybody will be tired it's uh, going yeah, on yeah. so so we will what we'll do we'll make uh, this as a last talk and uh, dr paras nis will present one case and there we'll finish uh, then uh, i am dr dheera sonawne working as a associate professor in grand government medical college and heading a unit at gopal das deshpal government hospital in mumbai so today i am going to uh, discuss on severe rigid scoliosis and the tips and tricks for uh, correction so we believe there are three fundamentals for correction first one is uh, get loosen uh, rigid spine uh, to loosen up second is to get a uh, good anchorage in uh, deformed and rotated vertebra and uh, third one is uh, with the help of reduction devices cervical uh, control and maneuvers try to reduce the deformed vertebra so loosening of the spine loosening of the spine is with the help of uh, halo traction which is used pre operatively and as well as added in to operate as well uh, the pre operative halo traction is uh, Going for two to three weeks, depending upon the rigid job deformity. The Cobb's angle we prefer uh, for uh, its scoliosis is 120 degree and above. Uh, so, uh, halo traction causes ligamentary taxes and stretching of tissue and adds a few degrees of correction and uh, makes uh, our correction better. The posterior column osteotomy, which is uh, commonly called as pontic osteotomy. as well as facial abdomen rib release is uh, helps in for the loosening of the spine a uh, uh, good anchorage in the disease vertebra is with the help of uh, bigger screws we avoid using uh, 4.5 screws even in the narrow spherical we try to go slightly back to with the help of the now thin technique uh, we try to take bicortical purchases uh, in this uh, rotated vertebra so that uh, the pull out uh, and ploughing is We have so yes, you can see in the next picture. You can see the screw size as well as the implant density is uh, very high. Uh, we always try to take a bicol vertebra uh, hold, as you can see here uh, in the uh, deformed spine. We have taken uh, all a bicol, uh, all the concave vertebra and a bicol vertebra to have a close hold. the we believe the apical vertebra uh, anchorage is extremely important that is the most uh, uh, rotated vertebra and getting that uh, rotated vertebra to rotated uh, uh, helps uh, in better correction a uh, third is the manure uh, and with the help of cobalt coming rod uh, only uh, in sagittal plane uh, bending uh, of the desired uh, bending and coronal plane we try to keep the rod uh, straight And let the curve push the rod uh, to the desired uh, uh, and deform the rod. Uh, with the help of a cantilever technique uh, and reduction devices, clips, we try to uh, fix the rod to the screw. This is the example uh, of severe rigid scoliosis. The top angle was 116 degree, and uh, on bending it was uh, bending only 16 degree, uh, 400 degree. Uh, this is a traction supine AP and lateral. Uh, These all the options were available for this patient, which is anchorages, followed by posterior plane and fixation. Uh, second one is with the help of hand traction preoperatively, and second stage uh, of posterior instrumented uh, correction, or we should we should have gone in the day one, uh, or uh, additional anterior procedures which has been described like the cancellation or uh, whatever. Uh, so, desired vertebra of lower instrumental vertebra was uh, helpful. We try to or uh, or uh, uh, higher uh, with LK, and we were successful uh, to get a decent courage. From 116, we have got 42 degree uh, of cops, which was almost 65 percent uh, courage. These are the clinical pictures. Uh, this is another cases of 142 degree cops. You can see there is a A fusion of uh, three vertebrae at the mid thoracic uh, level, and other other is a structural rigid curve. Uh, we have put this patient uh, in the help of uh, we have stretched the spine with the help of hand traction for two weeks. Uh, we have continued the hand traction uh, during the surgery, and this is uh, the cause what we have achieved. Uh, the, the cause is around uh, 45 degrees from 140 uh, to. So this is uh, what I was uh, discussing. On we have also tried to get maximum screw density. Uh, however, the few deformed vertebrae we are not able to insert. 
So as I have told you for rigid fever diagnosis, we have to follow two fundamentals for reduction. First one is dosing. Second one is getting good amperage. And third one is using with the help of the bar and candle. Thank you very much.